could you use your communication skills to change people, especially the toxic people in your life? Right. I think changing people, I don't know that I start anymore. I think I used to start um, with the belief that that was possible. And in fact, it was my responsibility. I don't anymore. I think my role as a communicator and a leader, Daniel, and I guess to a large degree, yours too and all that you do, is this, is this awareness that the best we can do is to share what we want to share as best as we can, do it well, um, and let that seed fall where it may. I go back to this idea that, that I've shifted my approach to humans from what I call an, an industrial approach to an agricultural approach. There are two main ways to approach growing people, helping people. One is industrial, one is agricultural. An industrial approach, I think, is more a manufacturing batch mentality. You know, I want a hundred of these, which is why our education system in the West is so broken. The education system is an industrialized approach to kids. It's, it's obsessed with box ticking and test results and exam results. It has no interest at all in the children's personal flourishing according to their own kinds of intelligence because schools are obsessed with one kind of intelligence academic so right. we have an education system where kids spend a lot of their time where they are not celebrated for who they are so they don't feel seen or listened to in large chunks of their lives so unless parents get more proactive in those kids development schools tend to shape them in a way that's unhelpful to their development and so I think an, an agricultural approach where you sow a seed like a farmer does in people's lives and then step back like Jesus did and let that, let that soil condition do whatever it does in response to that seed is a much better approach. So I don't try to change people by this manufacturing compliance-based force you into a mold mentality. I've much more relaxed into this rhythm for 25 years now of here's an idea. Um, it may be an uncomfortable one. It's to do with toxic people, toxic relationships. Here's what I've learned about that. Here's how I think things can be better in that area. Um, and I shared it much more as an idea and a suggestion. I'm going to tell you the downsides. I'm going to tell you the possible ways to fix it. I'm after, I think, sowing a seed. I'm after gradual influence that may lead to change. But I'm not trying to change anybody in the 30 minutes I'm speaking. My energy mm -hmm. needs to be, the, the change energy potentially becomes too aggressive and confrontational and finger waggy. I think yeah. the influence that brings gradual change energy suits me better at my age and stage of life. And has done actually for 20 years, much more conversational, suggesting here's an idea. Why not try this? That may lead to change. So yes, great communication should be involved in bringing change. But through the delivery system, I think, of influence. 